and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Sultai mid-range for our last um, anti-Oko deck, what we're playing today. Um, so we, we talked about going um, going wide and where Oko can't handle it with Selesnya Adventure. We talked about going with control and out-controlling the Oko decks with Azorius control there. Uh, all of our losses were not to Oko decks. We, we were 1-0 against Oko <laughs> and then lost the other ones. Um, and now... Uh, the other way is, you know, another way to beat Oko is by playing Oko and just having um, a good Oko deck for the mirror. And that's what we are going to focus on here with Soltai midrange um, being a, a way to, like, I think that a good way to um, to win Oko mirrors is, is, you know, having black, having black removal spells. We have Murderous Rider in the main deck, Noxious Grasp in the sideboard as some Planeswalker removal. And then we also have Vraska Golgari Queen, which is just a really good card against Oko. You know, like they play Oko, um, you play Golgari Queen to destroy their Oko, and you still have your Queen left over. Um, basically, as you know, like in chess, the Queen uh, is a lot, you know, can, can do a lot more moves than what the King can do. I guess that's the analogy there. I don't know. Anyway, you know, Sultai is just filled with very good cards. And so that's what we're going to be trying out here. Most most people play Paradise Druid in um, Sultai, but I, I still like a Boreal Grazer. I like having uh, more more ways to have turn two Oko. I think turn two Oko is just so powerful. And a Boreal Grazer, um, while it's not very useful on its own, it is gets a lot more useful with Oko, where, where Oko can turn it into a 3-3. Three, three. That's, a, that's a lot more useful than a 0-3 reach. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going with a Boreal Grazers. We're basically trying to skip turn two and trying to have turn one at Mana Creature, turn two Oko. That's what the goal of our deck is. And then, of course, in the late game, we got our 25 lands. Uh, the late game, we have um, Nyssa, Hydrocrasis. Y'all know how good that is. The other thing that Black gives us is Garrick, Cursed Huntsman. And Garrick is just a really, really strong Planeswalker at six mana. I like this card quite a bit. So we have a couple of copies of Garrick as well. <clears throat> I guess last thing is, is we do have a sweeper with finality in the main deck, if need be. Um, but then also we can cast the find part and get uh, Murderous Rider, Hydroid Crisis, Wicked Wolf, those kind of cards from our graveyard. Obviously, it's not easy to get Murderous Rider in the graveyard, but it can go there, you know, if it gets countered or anything else like that. But all right, let's give this a try. Let's play some Sultai. So we're going to go play over in Ranked. We're going to play some Mythic. We're going to play four matches. I think Sultai is better than Bant. Yep, we're fighting Oko with Oko. That's what we're doing here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're not going with the, the Thief of Sanity version, Sultai Thief, which we played Sultai Thief the other day and did really well with it. Um, I kind of feel like not playing Thief is better than playing Thief, but honestly, not exactly sure. I, I do want to get back and try the, the Sultai Thief again as well. All right, not the best of hands. We'll put... Breeding pool back here though, and keep this. I honestly, I mean, honestly, maybe just putting back the fine finality. The thing is, if they're playing aggro, I'm gonna want finality. If they're not, this fine's not really doing a whole lot for me. And you never know, we could draw Oko. Alright, that's not bad. I think Sultai's turn three is a lot weaker than Bant's. I mean, what else are you doing in Bant? Like, what, Deputy Detention or Teferi? Don't 
flatter yourself. The thing is, I guess like, I mean, I guess that's true. I guess Soltai's is weaker, but Soltai also just has such better removal. Like Bant just doesn't have good removal. You know, you have Golgari Queen on four, which. It was probably going to die anyway. <clears throat> All right, so we'll just have fine pick these geese back up. So what do we go with next turn? Okay. Well, I guess we're not going with Garrick, which is what I, I kind of wanted to play. Guess we're not doing that. Auto pay does a better job with Goose now. Kind of fix that. Down to five. All right, well, we got to kill that that thing. So we got to play Garrick. The hunt begins. And got to keep all these things back to block. Thankfully, we know we know they got nothing right now in hand. So that's good. There's our Oko. Whoops. No, you're blocking over there. You block there, you block there, you block there. Just sack two foods to gain three life. I think it's just worth it for where we're at right now. As long as our life total is high, we're good. We were born for the hunt. Those blind to tyranny are My opponent is not gonna be winning a long a long game. We just gotta keep our life total high. Yeah, you can play. Yeah, you can play brawl tomorrow for the sub battle stream. Yeah, I never. Yeah, you can play. Yeah, you can play brawl or, you know, best of one or, um, or best of three. 
whichever one you want to play. Okay, so this is over here. We were born one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I mean, you don't... So you said, yeah, Oko is like 50 bucks is it better to buy a box. I mean, you don't automatically get an Oko with every box. Um, you only get four... You get about about four and a half Mythics in a in a box. Um, there's... You know, the, the math there is one Mythic Rare every eight packs. You get 36 packs, so, you know, like four and a half Mythics. And, of course, there's 15 different Mythics. So, you know, you have like a four and a half out of 15 shot of opening an Oko in a box or you, you can think of it of 15 times 8 is what 120 so there's an there's you know mathematically there, there's an Oko in every 120 boosters um, I guess I'm playing against Gruul so we should put in some removal This Legion's End is probably better than Disfigure. All right, bringing in more removal, less Nissa. Do I want to play something else instead of this third Legion's End? No, I don't know. I, I do like Legion's End in this matchup, but I, I could see like my opponent having you know spellbreakers and um, and questing beasts and stuff, and me sitting on Legion's End and being sad. That is a realistic scenario here. <laughs> yeah, if you've opened two Okos and two boxes, that is yep, that's pretty lucky. Yeah, Legion's End is, is so good. Okay. Gonna play Yorvo, Yorvo Brawl. Nice. King, wild and sovereign, and surely you must be famished. So we're on the draw. So that, can they pressure Oko enough with them being on the play? <clears throat> well, Lamanark for for Magic Online. The cards don't just Wizards doesn't just print like they they can't they don't just print more copies of Oko like you're saying it's it's really expensive on Magic Online. They don't just print copies of Oko for Magic Online. Basically what happens there is that people draft to get the cards there. So I guess people aren't there's not enough people drafting on Magic Online I guess to um to support the demand. But it does like if if you say it's eighty three dollars for Magic Online, like if that's the case, then it's you know very valuable to be drafting and seeing you know like trying to win money drafting opening packs that way or you know or sealed. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. That seems really high, though. I'm going to check that real quick. Wow. 
Yeah, it's... It's 79.49 here, according to the to GoPots, where I, where I usually use and buy a listing for 74.50. It's better just to have a Mana Trader subscription than spend that much money on Oko. to keep Oko alive. Turn that thing into a 3-3. Your new look is enchanting. Fight that thing. Basically I I did this because I want Wicked Wolf to be able to block. I didn't want to just make you know tap it so it can't block kind of thing. I want it to be able to block. No, I'm not I'm not gonna be playing Pioneer on Magic Online. I sold my Magic Online collection and everything. I enjoy playing arena more. So while Pioneer is in, it's definitely an interesting format and everything. I just, I just enjoy playing. Um, arena more. So if we didn't draw that land, I needed, I needed this food here to be able to sack the, to the goose. If we didn't draw the land. All right, well, they're dead. Go, Garrick, go. Don't like watching MTGO either. Yeah, it's it's un it's unfortunate that you know. Wish wish you you could have you know Magic Online's card collection and and events and all that kind of stuff on Arena, or you know like I wish they could be combined and just be one program. I think that would be, and honestly, that would be the best for you know for Magic's whole player base and everything. If just you know it was all together. And everything, but it's not the world that we live in. Yeah, I wish, wish you could play, you know, vintage on Arena and everything. And, you know, you play Black Lotus and it has a has a animation, all that kind of stuff. like people like their pelt collectors today we've been playing against a whole lot of pelt collectors i mean i guess this is the third match in a row against gruel and we played against a, a teamer version that was kind of like gruel with oko and royal scions hey brain
four cards that are all okay, but none that I really love. Obviously, if I knew I was drawing another Wicked Wolf, I would have taken Fabled Passage. That, that was like my, my choices that kind of narrowed it down between was Fabled Passage or Wicked Wolf. There. They got, got Colossus. All right. It's not a bad trade. <laughs> awesome, yeah. Yeah, Diabetes, just just send me the list. The next time I play Brawl, I'll play your deck. So I guess, um, which will be, again, before the 31st. Maybe Sunday. Six. Yep, tomorrow's sub battle stream. It's the last Saturday of the month. Honestly, we're just like really dead if my opponent would just play the Colossus trying to kill me. So I don't mind that happening. I don't have a historic deck for the sub battle stream. I just I don't really have a historic deck. But I you know, we could do best of one or regular standard or brawl. I could play a standard deck against a historic deck also. I hope my opponent didn't disconnect. That's what it kind of feels like. It's unfortunate for them. Yeah, that's that's really unfortunate for them. And they're like so close to winning. I mean, I could just concede the game and just say they win, but that's the game wasn't over. You know, like let's say like they make this attack, I I block Gilda Goose to Goblin, I take two, then I'd untap, play Wicked Wolf, kill the Pelt Collector. So it's like it's like if if all their cards were lands, they wouldn't have won. But it's like if they just had one more extra thing, they would have been killing me. No, I haven't had any, I haven't seen any issues with Arena at all today. Yeah, we're playing the, the Oko deck to win Oko Mirrors. So it's still an anti-Oko deck. We did like the aggro, the control, and now the mid-range for the three anti-Oko decks.
I fully expect something to happen with this green deck on November 18th. Yeah, I don't I don't know if that means I'll go banned. Could be Krasis. I don't I don't know what what's going to happen, but I I fully expect something to happen. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, there you go. It's genius. So even if we lose, then we can be like, hey, Oko lost. You said banning Krasis would destroy so many other decks. What what deck what deck plays Krasis that doesn't play Oko? I think like the one was like Field of the Dead, but that's already gone. Elementals. <laughs> there you go, River. Nerf is. I mean, maybe I should just play like a, a regular land there to, to make another. I or even just shock in to make another food. I probably should have. Like that's honestly. I, I yeah. I should have made another food there. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Let's broaden your existence. The brambles of truth twirl and curl, choking out. I invite you to change your ways. Well, I don't need that food anymore. Do I not have the Oko card style? You are fouler than a fiend. I guess I don't have the Oko card style. Your new look is enchanting. Why do you cross? I grace you with my lack of presence. I'm good at what I do. <laughs> Yourself. More with Okos. Me. Sing with me. I will enlighten you. Another Oko is rough. I grow bored with this fight. Well, you played turn two Oko in draft. There's a one mana accelerant. And throne of Eldrain. Oh, I guess Goose. So yeah, you had.
Yay, no, no Noxious Grasp. So it's a game you're interested in. Oh the oh the draft bots don't like goose? Goose is so strong though. Wow, they must have just top decked that noxious grasp, because if they would have had it last turn they could have killed the wolf already. They must have just top decked that. Oh dear. Yeah, the the questing beast was really good from our opponent there. You're blind to your folly. I'm not um I'm not real big on questing beast either. Right now with, you know, against Wicked Wolf and Oko, it doesn't match up against those two cards very well. But for this for this game, with my opponent, like for this game, it, it worked out really well. It, it allowed my opponent to kill my Oko and then like my Vraska and stuff later. It's not poison. I liked the Selesnya Adventure deck a whole lot there, Borderland Ranger. We ran into some people playing just tons and tons of Massacre Girls, which is why we got our losses, but I was very impressed with the deck. I don't... I mean, Legion Sense is better than a random card. I mean, it's better than a land. But we have so many good cards. I guess I should have attacked first before playing the Scryland, because I should have seen if, if Oko would die here. Wallow in your deceit. We have such better cards than that than that thing. Alright, we already played a land. Selesnya is all about yeah. Selesnya is all about going wide. I think it's better against Oko than what Green Black is. It's it's all about going wide, and it has so it has a lot of power, but it it's weak against sweepers though. Well, I'd, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that Legion's end now. Why do you get three of those? I will invert the world to watch Before I get two. Grovel and worms root. Welcome to the feast. My opponent's definitely drawn better in the late game than I have. Just drawing more lands over here. Yay. That's what magic can can come to. You know, we're over here at eleven lands. They're at seven. 
those extra four cards <clears throat> are a big deal. Because if we haven't been drawing land recently, we've been drawing these these gilded gooses, which they're you know gilded goose is not a bad card, but not you know not turn ten. This isn't what you want to be drawing. Yeah, you can play more counter magic in these days. Like counter counter magic is very good right now. I guess I should I should let like that first one resolve first, make it indestructible before the second one. At least a couple of their last cards that they haven't been lands, at least they're just two ones with the Paradise Druids. Okay. Alright, there we go. Thank you so much there, Dibes. Alright, so second second slot Sunday for some brawl. All right, write write you down. Second thought, Sunday. Yorvo brawl. All right, got it written down. So yeah, send it to me tomorrow. Either after we get paired, or if you know if we don't get paired. Yeah, Shepard Shepherd was so impressive whenever we played it earlier today to go along with Innkeeper. Especially if you have if you have the two Shepherds to go with Innkeeper, you get to just draw like infinite cards. That's pretty awesome too. <laughs> Fairness. What a bizarre expectation. So they can do seven damage here. I'm one mana short. Oh, this is a killer. Oh, I miscounted. Cause I, I just played like Breeding Pool last turn, right? Where I could have just played this forest and had this extra untap land so I don't have to block. So I, I, I do not want to block here, but we have to because they could just sack and pump. The problems of streaming. <clears throat> problems of streaming. Sometimes you don't play, cl pay close enough attention because you're just multitasking. Happens. Why didn't they just tick up on this thing and, and attack me for lethal? I guess they're scared of the card that I have in hand or something?
Surely you must be famished. They don't want me to be able to like kill Wicked Wolf. They're still sitting there with their seven lands. I wish I had an extra five cards instead of the last five lands we drew. Step out of the shadows. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Nope. Another land. I feel like this game is going to be going long enough. This match that actually that the acceleration from Grazer, especially even on the play, the acceleration from Grazer is not worth drawing them in the late game. Trophies just against you know decks with other permanents, you know decks with like en enchantments and or even against aggro. Trophy goes in against. Almost everything. I don't think I really want it here. I think that extra land could be kind of important, but basically all like the aggro control. It's kind of good against everything. I don't know what to take out out of these two, though. I guess I can only just do two Veil of Summer. I don't know. Veil of Summer is broken, though. How are we supposed to cut two cards here? Yeah, Elder Spell would be useful, but I, I have too many cards. I have to cut things. I'm cutting once upon a time. <clears throat> uh, is Brazen Borrow a safe craft? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty safe. It is in a lot of decks. But yeah, no, I understand it's being, it's being a mythic is pretty rough but yeah i think it's a safe craft <sighs> i want a hand that does nothing in, on until turn four Wishclaw, Talisman, and Tristani don't do anything. Tristani only gets... says creatures. Tristani... Wishclaw, Talisman is not a creature. To me. I, would, not I would not recommend playing those two cards together. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, I, I assume that uh, R&D knew that Oko was completely game warping whenever they printed it. That second plus one ability is just completely absurd. I'm, I'm sure they know, I'm sure they no knew it was. Is enchanting. I mean, if they have Veil of Summer, <sighs> say if they have Veil of Summer as well to go along with their turn, turn two Oko, then you know, GG.
I will invert the world to watch kings grovel and worms rule. Let's broaden your existence. Yeah. Yeah, Team Diabetes, yeah, tapped out works just fine. No problem at all. Yeah, I think that if the ability was minus one loyalty, it would be better. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I, yeah, I think, I think Oko could have one less loyalty and this be a minus one. And it would be much more tolerable even then. Um, honestly, I, I think this should be target artifact or creature you control. Not not opponents. Like it's that's so powerful turning all the opponents creatures into three threes. It it should it should honestly be like just something that you control. Ooh, I feel so alive. It's just pretty bad gameplay to have all of your things get turned into turned into three threes because of your opponents oko okay. I don't know why my opponent wants Love Struck Beast in this matchup. I don't know what they took out for it, but I'm sure whatever they took out was better. Yeah, the the persistent partitioner being allowed in brawl is is completely absurd. It just goes against the spirit of like you know like they they would allow it in like the singleton formats whenever they have like those events too. What? Crisis for one? They want to keep up some kind of counter spell that bad? Oh right. They need to make it a 1 1 so they can attack with the Love Struck Beast. Right. Right. This is what you want to pioneer, Grixis. I think you should be playing less Thought Erasure and more. And even just, just Search for Escanta just shouldn't really be in your deck. You need more Treasure Cruise. More tre treasure, tre treasure cruise, dig through time, that kind of stuff. Like Tassiger? Like, where's Tassiger? Maybe some of le less of like some of the other creatures that you had. Um. Oh yeah, I know. You can't fit every card. You 
should leave. But those delf Before delf cards are just pretty disappear. pretty absurd. You should probably be playing those. So like like Scarab God doesn't need to be in the deck. Like Scarab God's not powerful enough. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. I think I can just sacrifice a land. We still have six. We'd still have Krasis for four. Probably not, maybe not four Nickel Balls to Ravager. I don't know. That doesn't work too well with Languish. I don't know. Oko never dies. No, all planeswalkers have different loyalty. Well, th um, they have, you know, it says they're all they're all different. It says it's on the bottom right hand corner how much loyalty it starts with. They don't start with the same amount though. That's pretty good. You ever listen to the crickets? That's my kind of <laughs> you cannot run or hide. Oh dear. Well, I guess the day is your lucky day. Okay, well, we got blockers for their ground creatures. Looks like Nessa here. Nessa into another crisis would be pretty rough. Not that rough, though, I guess. Harness the elements. I can have Vraska sack a wolf. And then ultimate Garrick. I'm going to draw a card. Sacrifices. And keep my wolves. Okay. That's not bad. I think I'm just going to eat a, a goose. Give you a wolf. I'll take your land. is fickle and fragile.
Sultai Walkers. They haven't had anything for this Veil of Summer yet. No Noxious Grasp. Murderous Rider. Elder Spell. Vraska. No Counter Magic. We can we can get our wolves to die if we need them to die. I don't think it's worth it to just to, to sacrifice a wolf for nothing. If just attack you know attacking with one wolf just sacrifices it for nothing. I think it's it's better to block, honestly. And like if we need wolves to die. We can get wolves to die. That's not a problem. Hmm. Now that's a huge problem because that kills Oko. Looks like exchanging ended up being very wrong. My opponent's at 12 minutes. All right, looks like exchanging ended up being the wrong thing. That w yeah, I mean, I, I didn't play around finality at all. The land fights for us. They're just going after me. Okay, well. Oko leaving blind. is rough. Remain blind. So yeah, so they you know played fine, so I can cycle. I think we do. It's just so many lands. Being ruthless has its rules. Unbelievable. This is just how both games have gone. <laughs> you cannot run or hide. If I minus Garrick, I die. That was that was eighteen cards, but now you know we just we just fetched once and now it's nineteen. I guess it was technically nineteen because the the murderous rider went back down to the bottom after we used it. But yeah, we had drawn uh, seven seven spells like these these four in here, these two, and a murderous rider, and twelve lands. Rise, my elemental friend. Thirteen lands and seven spells. Oh, 
I've had enough of you. Don't be surprised if we meet again. Okay, so Nissa ult. Now these lands are indestructible. Spring eternal. Yep. Yeah, if they would have ticked up. I mean, I guess, you know, like, they don't know that I have nothing. But yes, if they would have ticked up on Nyssa, it would have been lethal. Also, they should be making this attack and then sending this. This 1-1 one -one should be attacking Garrick. But yeah, I guess if, you know, if I, I guess it may not have been lethal with my having the four man if I would have had, you know, like an, an ether gust or something. Gross. My, I guess today's your lucky day. Oh, come on. That's a good top tech. Alright, well, we lost a mirror. But... Honestly, I think we could... I mean, I, of course, if we would have won game two, that we would have won the match because my opponent was playing so ridiculously slowly. But I think that's one that... All right, I'm going to reset Arena. Uh, we're just playing one more match, though. No, we... No, I won't reset. We're good. Um, that's one that I think if, if we just keep replaying it i i think i'm going to be winning that most of the time it's just we flooded out so bad yep arenas sometimes arenas like that sometimes that's magic you know never never found a crisis to help out or anything like that
yeah, we had, we tried. Going Grazer here because Grazer's going to have no value later on. And it also means that we get to... Actually use the mana and not, you know, like the goose... You don't want to use, like, the goose mana on turn two. So I liked how there was no Okos in that Once Upon a Time, so we're closer to Oko. Closer to Oko. That'll be a good card at Legion's End. And there's no Hydroid Crisis in those bottom four cards either. So we're getting closer to that as well. Yeah, Ember Cleave could get us. That sure looks like Ember Cleave. Okay, so we'll just sack one of these. Because the, the first strike damage is going to kill both the wolves. I guess I could sack the other one. Alright, so I need to sack the other one to keep Garrick from taking any damage. I think that's worth it. Better. Do I want to ultimate Garrick? I kind of do. <laughs> We're coming for you. Yeah, you know, it means that they get to kill Garrick if they want. You 
wouldn't ultimate Garrick. I don't know. Plus three, plus three is pretty nice. And trample. Huh. They're not going to kill Garrick? That can't be the right attack. They're just not going to kill Garrick? You don't have First Strike or anything, right? Me, that is. They really should have killed Garrick. That was not a good attack. We know we have all those lands down at the bottom, which I don't really want a Fabled Passage. <laughs> you cannot run or hide. They can't really give me... Like, let me just have multiple 5-5s. Five like, <laughs> like, what... Are they supposed to... What are they... What are they planning to do now? All right. Disfigures. Noxious Grasp. Trophy. Yeah, I mean... Uh, I had to kill Garrick. Uh, uh. Hmm... Do I want negate for Ember Cleave? It kind of feels like Ember Cleave is going to be the only thing that kills me. It kind of feels like that. Maybe I have too many cards here. <laughs> yeah, so Battle Saturday starts normal time, 3 o'clock. We'll be going from 3 to 10. Um, so yeah, normal time there. Yeah, I could have had Disdainful Stroke to stop that and Venerated Luxodon. So much for all those sideboard cards I just put in.
No blocks. This thing three mana, two mana. We have not drawn very well here. I can't Krasis now and then Garrick, unless I Krasis for one. Because then we won't have the food anymore. We're basically dead. I have to block that that weasel back red cap, otherwise it'll be lethal. Not enough black mana. I have to trophy the Ember Cleave, but I, I can't trophy the Ember Cleave and stay alive. I'm just dead. All right, well, we kept two Gilded Goose. That turned out not to be good enough. We had nothing else besides a six drops. Ah, uh, thanks, Hop Steven. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're really enjoying the Azorius Control deck. Yeah, that, that deck's fun to play, and glad you're crushing with it over in Best One. That's awesome. All right, so this is our last match here um, with Soul Time Midrange, and then we'll be going um, with uh, Grixis Alliance. Audio Magics! Thanks to the tier 1 sub there. Alright, we got removal here. It's our ninth sub of the day. MTG bots off by one there.
All right. Well, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for coming back, Audio Magics. And thanks for continuing your support there. Yep, yeah, got that red tie. It's looking good. I feel, we'll pro I feel like we're probably going to find more lands. All right, Goose is very good with our Wicked Wolves. Mountain, mountain opener over there. That's not good for, for them. All mountains. Sacrifice yep, that's, that's unfortunate. From time to time. Yeah, they kept them on a red hand. There. Alright, so we went 3 1. We lost to, I mean, even even if they had a better hand, our hand was awesome. I, I don't really expect, like, I don't think my opponent was going to be winning even, like, if they would have had either one of their first two hands, ni neither one of those first two hands were going to be beating our hand that we had there, to be honest. Um, no, I was not going to sa sack the food to Vraska. No, I, I was just going to tick up and not sacrifice anything and just pass. Um, I wanted to keep the food with Wicked Wolf and everything. So yes, yeah, so this this deck felt really good. Uh, we did lose a mirror, but we drew really bad both of those games. You know, we just drew like twelve plus lands both those games um, that we played there and flooded out pretty bad. So that happens, but um, yeah, I like this deck. Garrick was just awesome. Really like having Garrick at the top end of this deck. Um, everything about it was pretty good. I could see. Um, I could see playing, you know, Noxious Grass main deck, like instead of Find and Legion's End, instead of these, instead of Legion's End and Find, I could see playing two, like two Noxious Grass main. But honestly, Noxious Grasp is, is kind of unnecessary when you have Murderous Rider, you know, like basically instead of like Murderous Rider costs one more mana, but it's just much more versatile. Uh, you know, it doesn't get blanked against non Oko decks. Um... But of course it is the double black, it's harder to cast, all that kind of stuff. Also. Um Grazer wasn't spectacular for us. It was, you know, it was okay. But still, you know, need some more testing there if if Grazer is really worth it over Druid. I, I still think I like Grazer more than Druid, as you can tell I'm playing it here. Um Paradise Druid, that is. But there we go. So that's um Sultai mid-range so if you want to be defeating other oko decks this is a way to do it um, as i mentioned before over on my patreon page tomorrow i'm going to be putting up cyborg guides for the three decks we played today three anti-oko decks with selesnya adventure azorius control and Sultai mid-range so i hope y'all join over on patreon um let's see i'll put the link there's the link there, but if you're watching on YouTube, it just it, the link's down below in the info panel, but it's also uh, patreon.com slash ToddStevensMTG. Uh, it's $3 a month, so not not too much, you know, just like a, you know, a tip at a restaurant kind of thing. Um, so hopefully y'all uh, decide to join up over there. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but besides that, um, also, if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you hit the like button. Hope you leave a comment. I always like seeing both of those. 
Um, but that's it. That's all I have here for Soulfly Midrange. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.